Hey, 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 Scorpio. This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you all doing well. I'm coming to you with your general love reading for August 2020. We're going to find out what's going on with you and the person on your mind, whoever you're dealing with in love. Scorpio, this is for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading, so you know how it goes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. It won't resonate for every single Scorpio out there, okay? But if it does, let me know. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification button too so you know when I upload, okay, Scorp? If you want a private, personal love reading, do let me know. The information is in the description box. Go ahead and request a reading. I'm going to use the Cosmic Tarot here for the main spread. And I have the Everyday Witch to clarify. All right, Scorpio, we're going to find out what's going on with your person, okay? It could be someone that you're dating, connecting with, whomever, okay? This is timeless, although it can take place in the month of August 2020. All right, let's get right into your reading. What is the deal with your person, whoever's on your mind? All right, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you all for your love and support. I really do appreciate you all. Okay, in a recent past, we got that wheel turning in the upright. So beautiful, positive forward movement here in your love life. I love it. Good way to start with this reading off. The current energy is a queen of pentacles. So currently, right now, um, it looks like something here is, is broken up. It looks like either it's this foundation of relationship that has um, went sour, okay, went down the drain. Perhaps there's a loss of stability here. Um, some of you guys may have been married to someone here. It may have been um, a divorce. Some of you guys are breaking away from something here. Um, some of you guys are definitely dealing with an earth sign as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ooh, we got that tower. So your person is trying to avoid you right now. They may be going through something big, um, life changing in their life. Um, maybe kind of like the rug is kind of being pulled right off under them, okay? I'm really feeling here with the tower. Um, you guys could maybe not be speaking right now because there's something this person's going through, okay? And they certainly could be avoiding you all together, okay? After some kind of ending, possibly. Also, I'm feeling for some of you guys, this Queen of Pentacles in verse could be their energy of um, perhaps they lost their job, they lost their home. There's something this person's dealing with right now. It looks like, yeah, we're gonna have to get into this reading more, but this tower may be definitely linked to the Queen of pentacles in reverse if something here this person masculine or feminine they may, they may be in some kind of financial hardship or something or lack of abundance okay five of swords how they view you is possibly bringing drama okay strife arguing maybe you guys are fighting right now gemini libra aquarius energy Ooh, they're feeling that ten of wands and their feelings and emotions so yeah your person is going through this tower okay they're feeling burdened. There's a lot of emotional, physical burdens, okay? There's a lot on their plate. They may not even be speaking to you about this, okay? But they're having a lot of worries. They're in a very, very tough situation right now, okay? Tens are about endings. Ten. So that ten of wands and the tower, that combination is just, it's just very, very heavy, okay? So how does your see, person see moving forward with you? Three of swords in reverse. Wow. Some of you guys' person was probably in a third party um, situation or put you in a third party situation. They're possibly healing from as well some kind of heartbreak, okay? Or they could be getting out of another relationship, okay? Um, possibly, there's something here. I'm going to have to find out more about this energy. What's what's external to Scorpio? And the six of cups in reverse, Okay. So there's definitely a past person, a past situation here. Some of you guys may have felt, um, you guys may have had a lot of memories, but when you look back on it, it wasn't very good, okay? You guys may have ended on a bad note, especially with that five of swords, some arguing, fighting, but you still possibly view this person as your soulmate, okay? It's still some nostalgia, thinking about the past, but I don't think you guys ended too well with this six of cups in reverse, Advice from spirit is the judgment in reverse. So possibly reconsider something here. There's something here you have to look at, okay? The outcome is the four of cups. Rejection, okay? Feeling um disappointed here. This could be your energy or your person's, okay? It doesn't have to be you, Scorpio. I think your person's dealing with something here and you may not even be aware of, okay? Because you guys may be fighting so much. And this person may not even be communicating with you entirely. But it looks like their person, the Three of Swords, they could be trying to get out of some kind of situation. A third party may have even caused them a lot of drama and, and 
some heavy physical burdens that you may not be aware of. Four of Cups, they're trying to break away, it looks like. Okay, there's some kind of rejection with this, with the Three of Swords severing ties or accepting some kind of loss and breaking away, and they're definitely not going to be happy about it, okay? Or they're not happy with their, their options right now. I feel like if your person put you in a third party energy and you guys had an ending, they're not happy with this third party situation at all. Whoever this person is that they left you for possibly, they're not happy, okay? And they're really trying to break away from this, all right? And they, they're looking back at the situation with you. It probably wasn't, it didn't end too well. And now they have no options, I feel like. I feel like they're almost... There's like two relationships that kind of went sour. The relationship with you and then also with this past person. Wow, this person is really going through it, all right? We got the Eight of Cups. They're walking away from a situation. This energy is very much focused on your person, okay? That Eight of Cups, there was, they wasn't happy about a situation. They're not happy, emotionally fulfilled, and they're leaving something here. And they're leaving possibly this third-party energy, whoever they're involved with. Ace of Pentacles in verse, they definitely don't see any commitment, any long-term stability with this person. Whoever they're with, okay, this is breaking away. And I don't think this is you at all, Scorpio. But take it how it resonates, okay? It certainly can be. All right, let's get right into your energy a little bit more. Scorpio, you and your person... I really feel like this energy is focused on the person. They're leaving a situation. So if you want insight on your on a person here, you may have split ties with recently, okay? You have missed you have a lot of fortune coming in your life, Scorpio. That wheel of fortune, you may not have seen it. You may have even wanted this person to get their karma or something, but I'm feeling like they're definitely getting it. I mean, that's for some of you guys out there. The wheel is turning in your favor. So this can't be happening to you, Scorpio. All right, so the Eight of Cups. What's this Eight of Cups about? Your person's leaving a situation. If they left you already, and I do feel that they broke away from um, a relationship with you in a recent past because the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, definitely an ending of a commitment here. Eight of Cups. What's this about? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is no longer pursuing that um, third-party energy, okay? They, they don't see any stability. They're not committed to that person, okay? If they had a home, that's no longer being the case anymore. This person could be moving out with that tower and the Ace of Pentacles. Definitely an ending of a home situation or something here. They may have be forced to, to leave, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with an emperor. Someone here could be the father of your child, Aries, Taurus, energy, okay? They're trying to get back on their feet. They're trying to take control of their life. With the Ace of Pentacles in verse, they could have lost their job, lost their home, lost their car. And they're trying to make the right moves to move forward, okay? So again, they may not be talking to you right now because there's a lot that they're going through with that tower. What's the wheel? What's the wheel in the recent past? I think, Scorpio, you may have healed from this person already. Yeah, Nine of Cups. We got the Nine of Cups. You you have your happiness. You have found your happiness, your fulfillment, okay? A lot of you guys, I'm really feeling it. Some of you guys have wishes for this person to get their karma. That wheel in the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, happiness, you may have wished or manifested this, whatever is going on with this person. I feel like you guys may have... <laughs> I, I'm not laughing at this, but I'm really feeling that some of you guys had had wanted this to happen. There's something here they're not getting, they're getting not the best karma. That's all I'm saying. The Nine of Cups, you guys are in your happy place or finding your happiness within. And it may have, you may have really spent some time healing, going within. Yeah, the Two of Cups and the Magician in Verse. I feel like the relationship that you have with this person, it may have been very close at one point, but it looks like you, you were either dealing with someone here who was a trickster, who may have deceived you in some way, or something here just couldn't manifest, okay? And so you, you've you released that, you've let it go, and the wheel is now turning in your favor, Scorpio, and you're, found, you're finding your new happiness, okay? So I think your, your energy is perfectly fine. What's this um, Queen of Pentacles? The Four of Pentacles, okay? More Earth energy. I feel... <laughs> So someone was definitely holding on to their money very tightly. Um, certainly you could have been in a relation with this person, may have shared finances, even could have been married to this person, okay? They may have tried to take money from you as well or something here. Four of Pentacles, they could have been holding back their assets or blocked you. Some of you guys are definitely not talking to this person because they may have they may be holding back or blocking you out as well. Four of Pentacles, you guys are not 
in very good standing right now. I'm feeling for most of you guys. Okay, I'm getting this really defensive energy. What's this? What's this four cups? Yeah, I think, you know, you guys are not speaking in hangman in reverse. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you guys are really on talking terms. There's not much going on. There's some stagnancy between you and your partner's energy right now. But on their minds, um, Scorpio is the tower. So they could be avoiding you or they could be trying to find... <laughs> Their stability after this tower gone hit and destroyed or took over their life. Again, with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, if this could be anything um like tangible, like their money, their car, their job, something here that is changing. And you know, that tower kind of hits, it's it's very uncomfortable, it's destructive. What's this tower about? What is this tower about? And with the emperor, they're trying to find their place again. Yeah, they're leaving a situation. I feel like the tower has to do with this third party, okay? This third party may have taken their money, okay, as well. Um, with that queen of pentacles, the four of pentacles, there's some kind of financial piece to it. And we got the six of pentacles. There's definitely some kind of financial piece to it. This person is leaving a situation possibly because their third party probably ripped them out of money or... Ch or ch cheated them for their money there's something or used them for their money there's something this person's walking away from because they may have given to this person and i don't think they got in return there's some they may have given more to this third party and then they didn't get anything back okay a lack of reciprocity perhaps they were given to you and this other person at the same time and now well they're leaving that situation too the eight of cups they view you as a five of swords Maybe you guys are fuel, fueling this in some way. Or they feel like you've instigated this or started it. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They feel like you're a part of this in some way. They feel like you're the one who may have caused this. Five of Swords, strife, arguing. Yeah, you guys are not on good terms right now. What's this Ace of Pentacles in reverse? They may have feel that you had a part in this... Um, and them possibly losing their job or losing their money. There's something here. This person feels like you fueled it. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. That you had some play or some role in it. That you took some action here with the Ace of Wands that led to this tower that they're experiencing. Because they're now feeling the Ten of Wands. Burdens, emotional pain, um, emotional burdens, physical burdens. Just heavy energy, okay? What's this Ten of Wands about? Leo, Sag, Aries? This person is going through it. I don't know what the heck. Your person is going through it. Scorpio, Ten of Wands. What's this Ten of Wands about for Scorpio's partner? Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they think that you did a you played a part in this. We also got the Chariot. Queen of Cups in reverse. They think that possibly you're the one you may have manipulated them or they feel like you've taken your love. You've done something to them. They feel that has caused this burden that they're carrying, okay? Some of you guys, they feel like you you took advantage. Um, You played the victim or something with the Queen of Cups in reverse, okay? Um, and they, the chariot, I mean, they're trying to, I feel like they're trying to move forward. They're trying to get out of the situation, perhaps trying to the emperor take control back of their life. Okay. But the three of swords in reverse, they're trying to sever ties and leave possibly a third party energy. Eight of cups walking away from something here. Yeah. And look at that. Ten of, ten of swords, ten of wands, ten of swords. Wow. Tower. Wow. I, I can't even make it up. Betrayal, hitting rock bottom, okay? So your person, there's a lot of mental conflict as well. Um, a lot of anxieties, um, just feeling very, like a lot of heavy, heavy energy. This person's trying to release and let go and possibly has to do again with this other person, okay? Um, Seven of Cups, they may have had a lot of options in the recent past and love. They're trying to get clarity on... How to move forward, how to get out of this energy. There's something here this person got involved in. They may have gotten involved with the wrong person. And it looks like their whole life made a turn for the worse. That's what it looks like. The Six of Cups, external. So, so there's a lot of reflecting on the past, okay? Three of Wands in reverse. So definitely I feel, you know, maybe you've been waiting for this person for some time to change their ways. Because I feel like the way you guys ended this situation, this relationship with this person, it wasn't good at all, okay? Um, and with the three of wands reverse, I don't think anything was changing. They certainly, again, could have put you in a third party energy with that three of wands in reverse. Something that just wasn't moving forward with this person in you, Scorpio. 
okay? We got that five of cups in reverse. Some um, regrets, remorse, guilt, okay, this person has. And possibly they want to reconsider this situation, this connection with you, with the judgment in reverse. They're feeling bad about the situation, okay? Perhaps they feel like they, they deserved everything that they got, but, but they're feeling very bad about what they've caused, perhaps you or done to you in the past. Again, if they put you in a third party, if they've... Um, you know, breadcrumbed you, they didn't reciprocate. There's something here this person feels feels like they messed up, okay? What's this Four of Cups? Rejected, re rejection, Eight of Pentacles. So your person is feeling like there's a missed opportunity here with you, okay? I feel like for a lot of you guys, they want to put in some kind of work or effort to um, work on this connection here with you, Scorpio, with the Eight of Pentacles. Perhaps that, you know, you're rejecting them or they feel like they just don't have, um, they don't have this opportunity with you anymore, okay? But they want to turn things around, okay? But maybe there's just no more stability, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Cups, your person is just sad. They're sad, pitiful. Four of Cups, Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like your person's just gonna have to just end up being by themselves. I'm feeling they're just rejected. They're, they're not happy. They're sad. They're discontent. And just look at you as a missed opportunity. And perhaps they made the wrong decision. They chose someone who end up possibly backstabbing them with the Ten of Swords, left them financially insecure, unstable, possibly without a job, without a home. And now they're looking at you and they're like, wow, like they really just, they pursued the wrong person. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling, guys. Let me, give me one more outcome card. What do you need to know about this um, connection between Scorpio and their person? Wow, Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, lack of fulfillment, happiness. So they now see their family. If you guys had a family with each other, okay, they see they're very much un unsatisfied and discontent because they possibly ruined the whole situation here. You know, now they can't even be with their with their child's um you know, parent or they can't be in the same home with their children. There's a lack of, you know, coming together on a home front or being with their children. If there's, there's something here this person's really suffering and it has to do in their home life, okay? Because a lot of pentacles, um, definitely indicating money or definitely in a home situation. So yeah, this person is not happy at all. So that was definitely focused on your person. A lot of you guys may already know of that third party energy, okay? It doesn't have to be an actual lover. It can also be family and friends as well, okay? Okay. So that's what that's what's happening. Some heavy energy, Scorpio. Um, let me know if that resonates for some of you guys. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all your love and support. If you want a private personal reading, do let me know. My information is in the description box. If not, come back next week for another reading. You all take care, stay blessed, and stay safe.